past year when I was doing TV, Calvin's offensive coordinator, Pitt. But before that, he was with me for 10 years, and he knows our offense inside and out. We kind of share the play calling. If the play runs good, I caught it. If it wasn't very good, it was Calvin's fault. <laughs> so I get to get, get credit on that. But he, it's amazing how much he and I think alike in, in calling a game and putting a game plan together and all that. So Calvin will also coach our running backs, and, uh, and he'll recruit probably – uh, the area of New Orleans, that's where he's from. And there's a lot of good restaurants to go there, so he wants to pick that as a recruitment area. Uh, another guy has been with me a long time is our assistant head coach, coaches our safeties and helps with our defense and special teams is Tony Gibson. Where's Gibby right here? There's Coach Gibby. He played for me as a four-year relationship recruiting them over the past year. And a lot of the recruiting, as you all probably know, is about building relationships. The school sells itself. Third and long. <laughs> third and long, third and third and, well, I'll take them on first and ten, too, I guess. <laughs> those are the kind of guys, you, you know, I can remember. I wasn't here, but I've seen those guys play. You know, I call them the OKGs, our kind of guys, the guys that you want to, you, you don't have to say sick, you, re, you got to say, whoa, not sick them. That's what I want. The kind of guys I got to say, whoa, not sick them. Those two guys had motors. They got after you pretty good. So how about getting those guys done around? brand new weight room and locker room and media rooms and <laughs> coaches offices and the players lounge and all that kind of stuff but more than anything and I've said this before <laughs> it sends the message that U of A is going to play big time football and we're serious about big time football yeah.